So to install the 4D organizer on a Windows 10 or Windows 7 machine, open the CD ROM that came with it, and what you'll find is this setup file in the root folder. Just double click that, except all the default folders. Now this is the order I did it in, and it worked fine. So I just clicked on that, like that, and it'll say, do you want to really do this? You have to remember to keep your um, pin number handy. So it'll go through all of this, and it'll ask you, do you want to really do this? And it'll um, keep working away. So I've already installed this, so I don't actually need to continue. But you just click next, 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 accept all the default, everything, and it'll be fine. So I'm just going to click cancel on that um, because I've already got what I want. So the next part is where it gets a little more interesting. What you need to know is if your machine is a Windows 64 or 32-bit machine. This makes a difference. So, what you need to do is go into the system settings. I'm having a bit of trouble here. It's not allowing me to click this properly because it's the. Uh... It's, I think, grumbling a bit. see if I can slide it down once it's no it's I thought it might have been the screen capture setting so find a setting so that's what we want to do uh, uh, this is really not running very well at the moment there you are so you I just started typing, so see if you have a 32 or 64 bit. And this works for both Windows 7 and. So you can see I have the 64 bit operating system. So that's what becomes really important. Okay? So you install the software no matter what from the setup. But then you need to know which are you 64 or are you 32. So if you're a 64 bit system, you go into here and you run the setup for that. And then that will do the job, okay? So I don't need to do that. I'm going to go uh, just up one. And if you're 32 bit, I found to use that one. And that is all you need to do. Then what will happen is when you run the um, pro the software it will just work fine 